Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. Now today we're talking about extensor tenosynovitis. That may be a long word, but I'm going to explain it to you and explain exactly what it is that when you have extensor tenosynovitis and you get pain in the top of your foot. All right, so the first thing, like what exactly does that mean? Well, all these medical terms that you hear, like extensor tenosynovitis, they all sound very long and they sound you know, very technical or important, but I think that's because most doctors just want to charge you by the syllable. So extensor, it, it refers to extend or to pull up and straighten. So if you make a fist and then you straighten out your fingers, you're extending your fingers and then the tendons that actually allow that to happen on the back of your hand, those are the extensor tendons. So if you look at your hand and you go from making a fist to pulling your hand all the way up, you can see these lines on the back of your hand. Those lines are actually the extensor tendons that extend your fingers or pull them up. On the top of the foot, you have the same thing. The extensor tendons on the top of the foot actually pull your toes upward away from the ground and help you extend your toes uh, when you're swinging through as your foot swings underneath you, obviously you have to move your toes out of the way so you don't trip over them, and the extensor tendons pull them up. Well, tenosynovitis refers to uh, the tendon sheath around those tendons. So on the top of your foot, you have uh, at the top of your ankle, the extensor tendons go up through uh, a little tunnel called, underneath this thing called the retinaculum, which is a band of tissue or a couple of bands of tissue that keep the tendons from bow stringing or pulling away from the front of your ankle when you pull your toes up and you swing your foot underneath you when you're walking. So that tendon sheath is supposed to decrease friction. So again, the tendons are sliding underneath this band of fibrous tissue. And if they didn't have a tendon sheath around them to protect them, those tendons gliding back and forth under that fibrous band of tissue would actually become abraded and basically wear out and break over time. So anatomically, you have this structure called the tendon sheath that's supposed to protect it. So the tendon sheath is basically a tube that just goes around the curve underneath the retinaculum and then the tendons glide through that. So the, the sheath itself is really simple. You have a fibrous outer tube that is through there, right? The, where the tendons slide through there. And then you have soft, squishy tissue on the inside of it called synovial flit, uh, tissue, which makes the synovial fluid that lubricates the tendon sheath. So when you have the tube sliding through there with this lubricating fluid, same lubricating fluid that's inside your joints and your knees and uh, lubricating the inside of your knees so that they'll move with less friction. Well, the tendon glides through that very easily and, and without any friction and without any irritation and it doesn't get abraded or worn out over time because it's protected by the tendon sheath. So the word extensor means to extend. Tenosynovitis means inflammation because itis is inflammation so tino is for the tendon and then the synovitis or you know tenosynovitis synovitis whichever way you want to call it is inflammation of the synovial tissue the soft squishy tissue that lines the inside of the tendon sheath that makes the synovial fluid inside the tendon sheath that allows the tendon to glide so although it sounds really like some huge thing happened to you it's not really that big of a deal you just have some inflammation of the tendon sheath that surrounds the tendons on the top of your foot, the extensor tendons. Doc on the run. We help injured runners run.